All right, here's my July update. Um, it's been super humid he lately. The spring is the driest time of year here, but uh, today is like cloud forest type conditions, just super foggy and cool and humid, and uh, the plants are loving it. So uh, I'm just gonna jump right in to this tour. Everything's really happy right now. Some great stuff's happened. So here's a uh, Benthes Naga, a uh, new picture right here. I mean, actually, this picture's been open for a little bit, but it's still fairly new. Um, and a new picture opened on the back. Let's see if we can get a good look at it. Opening up nice and green. They start out nice and green, but uh, they uh, don't get super dark, but you know, they, they get the nice plum color. And uh, just been a very steady, but kind of slow grower. Um, this is the Christian Klein Naga seed grown. Uh, Nepenthes Jamban, uh, really nice looking new picture here. Just opened recently. Uh, nice development on this. And uh, basil picture right here. Uh, another one there. And, um, yeah, the pictures don't age great on this plant, but um, they, when they first open, they're really good. And uh, hopefully it starts vining pretty soon and get some upper pictures. Here's uh, Nepenthes Enormous. The biggest picture it's put out so far right here. Uh, I just did a spotlight video on this recently. But uh, it would be cool to get a flower out of this at some point. Uh, here's Raja across the Lowy IBGI. Uh, that new picture that just opened. Uh, I think I did a spotlight on this guy. But... Ralph Cantley I. I'm still holding on to its winter pictures. Newest picture right here nice and dark now. It took a while for this one to color up for some reason. I'm not really sure why, but um, unfortunately uh, got some leaf damage. But uh, hopefully the next leaf is back to health. Here's a truncata Highland reddish leaves. Do this picture right here. Forming a new one. Pretty slow growing plant. Puts out leaves at a slow rate and really hasn't made any leaf jumps. But uh, hopefully you know sooner rather than later it'll do that. Healing for a heterodoxa cross inaxii and uh, doing pretty well. It gets great color in the in the spring and summer. It usually stays pretty green in the winter, but uh, it gets nice and red during the summer from the sunlight. Here's a heterodoxa cross minor, finally looking good again. It took a long time for it to recover from its accident, but uh, has a clump of healthy looking pictures finally. Lava across Newtons that I got recently from the Bay Cap show and sale. My little Eddie, very slow so far, but uh, hopefully picks up speed as it gets bigger. Here's Vichy Loei Edward Sienna, just growing really fast. Loves the greenhouse. New picture here coming, and the most recent picture is right here. Looks like a squat, thick Eddie. Really love it. I'm excited to see what this one does as it gets bigger. Here's my Carnivoro Vichii. Just opened up a new picture here. Nice pink body. Really excited to see what this picture looks like when it's fully formed. Here's Truce Madiensis with a nice big new picture. This picture is like six and a half inches tall. And would you look at that? It's really starting to come, come along and become a more mature specimen. It's about 15 or 16 inches across now. Just totally in love with this now. I got it four years ago as a tiny seedling, and I didn't even know what it was really. I just, I, just, I was still pretty new to the Penthes, and I just bought it because I knew it was rare, and I thought I should get it, and I'm really glad I did. It's like a favorite. Amazing leaves too, very glossy and waxy and thick. Here's Palawanensis. Uh, I mean, I talked about this in my last update. It's not my favorite plant, but I'll hold on to it for the time being. And, uh, there's a Lispetrana, Raja cross Brabigia. Has a basil coming. Looks very similar to Raja Louia Bichia, but it has a more minty green color and a more red parasome. My favorite, one of my favorite Raja hybrids for sure. And I love Raja hybrids, so and it's got a new one forming back there. It's about a 14 inch plant now. Here's the Penthes Hemata across from Cantley Eye. I did a spotlight recently, but I don't think it had this uh, new picture opened on it, and that's just glorious. It's really starting to make the parasome nice and broad, and uh, has a couple basils. And I'm uh, looking forward to seeing the next picture on it, because that last one was a big jump from the others, especially with the parasome development. 
Uh, here's the Pentes Loei. Finally making a new leaf. Looks like it could be a leaf jump. And uh, we'll see a new pitcher on this thing probably in the next three months. So that's good because this thing's very slow growing. And um, it holds on to its pitchers for a long time at least, but it usually only has two at a time. The Pentes Peltata, the Born Exotics 3464. For me a new pitcher there. Just looking like a lovely painted red plant. Big fan. Very excited to see this thing grow up because it's going to get nice and squat. Um, the Pentes Vici Loei, just being super slow, not really doing a whole lot right now, but uh, it's growing nicely. It's got a new pitcher forming there. I'll definitely show that one when it forms. Uh, and the Pentes Vici, and it's got a new tendril forming. It really appreciates this uh, this potting job. It likes a lot of air running through the soil, I think. And in the summer, it gets a very long neck, whereas in the winter, like winter pitches are more flared. It's interesting. Probably has something to do with the humidity. But if it stays humid like this for the whole summer, well, I mean, we'll see. And uh, here's Berbigia Vichia Mollis uh, with Stuba Hybrid. Um, big fan of with Stuba Hybrids. He does a great job breeding. And that's a really good looking new pitcher. Um, Looks almost like pure mollusk, honestly. And that's what I like so much about the seed-grown individual, is that it really takes on mollusks. I had trouble growing mollusks, so to have this is nice. It's a pretty big plant. I think it's about 11 inches. And, you know, here's Exotica's going to live for a cross of Fipiata, and that's an aged pitcher. That's what they look like after a couple months. And here are two new pitchers that just opened up recently. And uh, it's a rooted cutting. Hopefully I get a flower out of this soon. I can do some breeding, but uh, the pitchers when they first open up are amazing. I like the aged ones too, but I love like the sunset colors that they uh, first open up with. And they get some lid hairs and a lot of exudate too. This one has more lid hairs for some reason. Not all the pitchers have lots of lid hairs, but a uh, very nectary and exudate-y plant. So good stuff there. And here's Rock Kentleyi Aristocuities cross Metabolis, and it got sick recently. Uh, for the first time ever. It's always been a, a, like a really healthy plant, but uh, for some reason it, it has a little bit of damage here. It looks like a fungus or something, but I, put, I treated it, so hopefully um, that does something. But um, the pictures are a little smaller right now. Usually they're enormous, like the size of my forearm, like these last few. But uh, these pictures are a little smaller. I'm not really sure why, but at least it's still picturing and it, it'll be fine. It's a it's a robust, healthy plant. And uh, here's Myrmicodia platyteria really taken off. Loves to be bottom watered guys. So if you're growing this, um, it, I, I highly recommend bottom watering it. Just sticking it in a bin of water for like 15 minutes every like, maybe every week or so. And uh, here's a Delia Macfrilania. Um, I have a rooted basil of this uh, in my greenhouse right now. So if you're interested in that, you can you can uh, DM me. But I, I uh, Definitely enjoy this hybrid. Waxy looking green leaves and uh, good Macfalonia traits. Striped peristome. Cute little hybrid. Just it, it likes to stick its tendrils where it shouldn't, like this. I'll have to figure that out. I'll, I'll deal with that after the video. Venture Costa Aristocuities. Long vine with lots of upper pictures back here. I got this in like 2017 and it was just a tiny little rooted cutting with like one pitcher on it. Just absolutely exploded. Um, here's Saracenia flava, looking pretty good. Here's a Lapaglosum decoratum, Bilbergia Darth Vader, beautiful bromeliad hybrid. Complex, I'm pretty sure. I think it's got like four uh, parents involved, but uh, one of my favorite bromeliads for sure. Rakinia reducta right here. Lots of pups. And then there's some like uh, Splendiana um, and uh, some Japanese hybrids that I got a long time ago. Uh, here's the Pentes Denzaflora. Doesn't have an active picture on it right now, unfortunately. Here's Heliopora parva across Ionacea. Starting to put on some size and get a nice hairy nectar spoon, much like the parva. Look, really looking forward to this, seeing this one over the summer. Uh, healing, healing for a Pulkella that I got from uh, Michael Kong at the Bay Caps uh, show and sale. 
really cool helium four with a hairy interior and uh looks like looks very hungry with the way the mouth's kind of splayed open your saracenioides cross minor burgundy black from Westuba. about this from cross exotics last year and, uh, here's a really cool helium flora that i'm excited about this is minor variation plosa cross mcdonald eye and i think it's the first mcdonald eye hybrid ever and um, i saw a bigger one and it looks almost like like a more porcelain colored mcdonald eye really keeps that parent well but it's also hairy and uh, this one's looking good so far very healthy here's pure mcdonald eye little tiny division that i got from cross exotics um, but very happy to have this in my collection and looking forward to seeing this in a year or two little uh with stupid clone or actually it's not a clone it's a i'm pretty sure it's seed grown my ani pahan is starting to come back doesn't look nearly as good still as it used to. It looked amazing for a while. It's really too bad what happened to it. But that's just part of horticulture. Sometimes you just, some things just don't go as planned. There's Meliae, Aristolacuides right here. Terrific Aristolacuides hybrid. Uh, the Meliae really complements this. Uh, they are still a well. I need to repot this soon. It's got basil, which is getting pretty big. Here's uh, Tadii, cross Folculata. As I've said before in my other videos, I've managed to save this from a parasitic fungus, and now it's pretty healthy and happy. Growing in like a, a peat dominant media mix, and it's just putting out lots of new growth. Little exapendiculata division. Um, I'm kind of tired of it, but I might just get a bigger one for like 100 bucks. But um, I'll grow it out for now. There's a little Vichy Malio Basin, just adapting to the greenhouse. It was very stressed when it got put out here. Um, there's a Earth Star Bromeliad and some new Regalias back here. Here's a pure Aristocuities. If I'm not mistaken, this is a Wistuba uh, clone. And it's going to have some new pictures on it soon. Doing really well in the greenhouse. Here's a Raja Cross Joculinia from uh, another Cross Exotics acquisition. This is a Jeremiah Harris bred plant, and uh, it's a it should be a classic, but there's only one Grex of this hybrid released. Uh, if if uh, this was done more, I think it'd be a lot more popular. But it's got a couple pictures on the way, and I'm very excited for those. And speaking of Joculinia hybrids, this is especially a lot of Joculinia. Just opened up a fresh picture here. It's a good size. And uh, here's uh, some of the other pictures on it. Really good one right there. And right there. And here's Vichy Loia across Spectabilis. Really uh, ha healthy and happy now. For a while it had like a fungus or something and it was getting like splotches on the leaves, but it looks like we've kind of taken care of that problem. Or maybe, I don't know. That new leaf doesn't look so great. But whatever, it's never had a problem. It always grows pretty well and pictures well, which is all I care about. So, um, and here's a Spatulata Aristocuities across Loia. Kind of looks like Loia Tentaculata. It gets confused a lot for that. But opening a couple pictures here, and it's got a basil about to form a lower pitcher, which is going to be cool to have both on the plant at the same time. It's getting big. Hopefully a flower from this guy soon. But only time will tell. Singalana. It's lining across the top of the greenhouse. Lost its growth point up here, but whatever. It'll just it'll just uh, activate a bunch of shoots through more basil growth. But the lowers are really good looking on this Singalana. Like, I love this that sunset peristone the teeth and the long neck so good and uh here's platy kyla from christian klein it's slow growing but at least it's got a nice picture on it right now here's the cephalotus folicularis and i've actually gotten this thing it's this isn't a particularly impressive specimen but at least i'm starting to get it to grow because i struggled with this plant for years i think i've had this for two years and this is the first time it's looked this good so hopefully we get a nice clump of pictures on this thing soon. Here's a special lot of Diabolica. A lot of basal growth on this guy. This is this plant's starting to go nuts. It's just a very easy growing Nepenthes. Easy growing hybrid. And uh, you can really see the Diabolica influence with the, the uh, ribbed peristome and the teeth. Looks like the red special lot of Hamada, but and more squat. So 
but um, yeah, it looks like it's going to start binding pretty soon, and it's really put on some size recently. Got this about two years ago from Bergen Water Gardens, Borneo Exotics Hybrid. This orchid, finally after three months, is losing its flower. Looking pretty good, and until next year, Drosera glomagoluensis, uh, Stylidium debile, and a little ping division that I got a few months ago that's, you know, doing okay. And uh, here's a pinguicu I'm excited about. This is a Loiata, uh, Loiana cross emerginata. And uh, it's a very nice looking ping. That's really good flowers. Uh, yeah, interesting and unusual ones. And it's got a purple hue to the leaves, which is great. I'm going to repot this one pretty soon. Here's a Myrmicodia tuberosa. Started putting out some leaves. These leaves are kind of messed up. I'm not really sure why, but uh, it hasn't really done much since. I need to repot it, probably. Uh, here's Truncata from Predatory Plants. This is the Titanic Tyrant. And uh, unfortunately, it should have another pitcher on it, but the tendril got knocked off when I was moving it. But at least it has a new leaf coming. And uh, this should be a lot bigger, but unfortunately the growth point got eaten a couple years ago by pests, and it had to basically start over from basal growth. So this is a basal division. And uh, here's Maxima cross Clipiata. We got this from California Carnivores. Um, about a couple months ago. Beautiful plant. One of, uh, probably the, my, the best Clipiata hybrid besides Loei Clipiata. But it's a classic for sure. My little Hamada, Hamada Platy Kyla back there that I got for free from Cross Exotics. Here's Talagensis Vichia Washiana. Little dark pitchers with some minty green body color. Looks really good. Easy growing plant as well. And uh, here's Rubigia vichia. Um, good sized pitchers here. Basal growth. And it only puts out, it puts out pitchers pretty irregularly. It's not a prolific pitcher, but it usually keeps them for a long time at the very least. And then here's the Ramaspina. Just exploding with growth. Loves the shade. And uh, just Always been a pretty easy grower. And then here's Nepenthes peltata, the 4025 Grex. So it'll be really interesting to compare these two peltata that I have when they both have pitchers on it. Because I've only got the, I've only had this for like six months. So um, I haven't seen a, a pitcher in my care yet. This will be the first one. So I'm excited to see what it looks like. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, exciting times in the greenhouse. Um, a lot of stuff going on and definitely we'll have lots of hybrid and species spotlights and a new uh, update in the next uh, few weeks or months. So.